to another Tech Tip Thursday, and I'm here back in Google Docs, and I'm going to be playing with Brisk again. So remember, Brisk is an icon up here. It's an extension you need to download and install. And I also want to talk a little bit about document tabs. So this is my idea, and this is an idea of a way you could use document tabs. So I thought that it would be really cool if all of the labs for a class were in one document and that was basically like your lab notebook with all these different tabs we can insert a tab for each lab so i went ahead and made um, one of the uh, labs with brisk and i'm going to do another one okay so for this one i am going to do the lab 10.4.3 which has to do with having chicken bones. So let me put this lab in, control V, and let me take out these standards. And um, I'm sure if you were doing this in real life, you would go in and put in the, the real life standards. And I'm going to go ahead and brisk it. And it is going to generate a lab for me. And this lab, I mean, this lab already exists in, um, in Apex, so you could totally copy it. Um, but this definitely leads kids to do some research, right? Um, it has them record data, has procedure, fairly simple things. Um, we could collect bones for sure, right? Um, so, Briss did this. I can take copy and let me rename this tab and remember you can also take and go to brisk and on this we can boost student activity and we can go ahead and make this um, a debate or an inquiry or even a tutor who just supports learning right um, create a tutoring activity based on this document so instead of just sending students to the bio lab, right, we could have a tutor in here who would walk them through step by step, right? And this fills in automatically for it, okay? And then instead of just getting the lab, right, they would also get a chat bot that will help them on the side with doing the lab, right? So cool, right? So I highly recommend trying this out, especially the idea of having um, the, all the different ta tabs in a document have all the stuff for the course because it would really help students to stay organized. Um, you could even put guided notes in here and just have a really thorough notebook. Um, and then using the Brisk Activity Booster, you could even take an um, I'm going to put share with students and I think what I would do if I were doing this activity is I would go to the share with students, um, put it in my class, file setting and students can view a file. Oh, it doesn't yet make a copy for each student. Okay, well, I'll click share. Um, but then I can go ahead and copy this link and put this in my lab. Um, so I can say lab tutor and there we go. So if they want to, they can go to this tutor and get help with this lab, right? You're putting the AI bot right in there and it's specific to the task. I hope this helps. Have a great week.